Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of ABAP Managed Database Procedure. So in the previous session we saw the practical implementation of our ABAP Managed Database Procedure. We have taken a requirement to calculate the interest and we have simply calculated it. Now in this part we will see how to practically pass or how to pass passing parameter to our AMDP method. So how we can pass a parameter to AMDP method. Now since we already know that in case of our AMDP what we are doing we are writing SQL script inside our AMDP method right. This is what we are doing. So now based on a parameter how we can get the data okay. So in the previous session we what we saw in the previous session uh, we saw or we implemented our AMDP method right AMDP method to display the loan amount this is what we saw loan amount for a particular customer particular customer now in this part what we will do we will see we will see how to pass a parameter okay so I will take a requirement for it. I will take a requirement. I will take a normal requirement for it. My requirement is I will display uh, display the item details or project details data from our project table that we had created. So project table. Let me just show it to you. SAP logon. I will open the logon part. I will do the login. Okay. I will open it. I will go to SE11. And I will open my project table. So this is my project details table. This is my item table. Right. We have got three fields. And in this particular table, I have got records from 101 to 105 and for each record if you can see we have three items we have three items for each of them because we have got multiple primary keys here we have got multiple primary keys perfect so now what I will do is I will simply use this table and I will take a input as a parameter so from user uh, from our project table based on the parameter passed by the user passed by the user okay so what will be our parameter in this situation my parameter will be the primary key of table which is emp id so it will be employee id employee id will be the parameter and based on that we will create and implement it all right so now i will simply create my amdp so we will follow certain steps again I will right click on my package okay right click on the package new and go for a BAP class go for a BAP class create a AMDP so AMDP class parameters passing input as parameters and description as passing input as parameters then I will go for next I will select the transport request okay and this is now my class okay this is my class perfect so now in this particular class we will make this class a AMDP class how we will make that by implementing the interface so our interface I am going to simply implement here my interface is IF AMDP marker AMDP marker HDD this is my interface I'm simply passing it now this class has become a AMDP class so in this particular class in the public section what I will do I will declare my structure so types keyword is used to declare the structure so begin of PY my item table name which is my project table so project here and 
what I will do is I'm going to simply copy the name of my fields and their corresponding data elements so I will select it employee ID type employee ID data element okay then project ID so project ID type its data element so project ID okay and the third one will be our project name so project name type its data element I'm simply passing here so copy and paste perfect we have created it so I will end as so end of TY project my structure is ready right my structure is ready now I will simply create a table type which I'm going to use so types LT uh, table or LT project I will name it so LT project type table of my TY project perfect I will create it so this is my structure ready now I will declare a method so I will declare a static method we have seen the instance method in the previous session this time I will declare a static method so class methods I will name it display project okay then we will have a importing parameter here so importing value and in the value I will take input as P employee ID this will be my input type uh, my data element so Z A R E M P ID perfect data element and then I will have exporting parameter so exporting exporting value and I will name this as LT table which will be my output parameter and its type will be the table type that we have created which is LT project so just copy it and paste it here perfect this is the declaration part now by default your system will say that implementation missing for this method so I will go to my imp class implementation section okay go to the class implementation section here I will go for my method display project and method now this is a normal method I need to make it a AMDP method okay so we will again use the syntax by database procedure procedure for HDB language and we will have the SQL script so SQL script options read only read only right and using the using the data dictionary artifacts so if you remember the syntax for our EMDP method declaration that we have saw here we will have the data dictionary artifact so the table name I will pass what is the name of our table let's copy it so this is my table just copy its name and paste it here so using table name perfect now you can see again a syntax error is raising the body of a AMDP method cannot be empty definitely so we will write the logic here I will do the logic part so what is my output LT table LT underscore table is equal to my select query select EMP ID is my first column second ID is project ID and second column is project name okay from Oh, sorry it will be a SQL script so we'll need to pass the comma here project name from our item table from our item table right where EMP ID is equal to PEMP ID PEMP ID 
lt table is equal to select emp id project id project name from our item table where employee id is equal to t employee id perfect right so our data will be stored into this lt table which is my exporting parameter right so i can simply right click on it and i can do the activate button now object activated so a very important note point a very important note point that you must remember in case of your amdp method let me just show you we have already seen it during its discussion part its introduction part so amdp is the replacement technology for database procedure so what happens here is whenever we call it a procedure gets created in hana whenever you will call your amdp method always a procedure will be created into your corresponding hana so what i will do i will simply create a normal abap program we can do it directly on eclipse also and we can do it from ac38 abap editor also so i will create a program here calling amdp amdp with parameters so calling amdp method along with parameters parameters type executable package and transport request perfect here now again same processing we need to do we'll create our local structure so begin of our ty underscore project which is my structure so i will again select all the columns from here control c control y control c and paste so type pass it here right perfect pass it here pass it here end of ty underscore project okay very very simple now i will simply create my internal table so data lt project type table of ty underscore project okay then i will create the parameter so parameters p e m p i d type data element so data element is my z a r e m p i d this is my data element i will save the parameter here and i will go to my text element and i will give a meaningful name for our parameter in the selection text sorry in the list heading why oh, it's not coming in the selection text let's go and activate it so go to text element yeah selection text yeah now it's coming select the ddic reference and activate it or you can also manually pass some value if you want right we have created this now i will go for start of selection event right i will go for start of selection event and i will create the object or i don't think we need to create the object because we have made this method as static method right we have made this as static method class method i am using so i will call this method directly by using class name so call method class name display project right perfect and i will simply pass my employee id you can simply pass my employee id and i will receive my data into lt project perfect again you can call this same class and method directly from the pattern also so pattern abap object pattern here pass the class name and display underscore project same thing it's totally up to you which way you want to call or you can simply pass directly the method name and you will press control plus space by default sap will give you the required parameters here it's totally up to you activate it and i will simply do the loop at my lt project into data ls 
project perfect and at last I will simply display the data so write statement my LS project EMT ID LS project EMT name now what is my second column I will employ oh sorry it is project ID so project ID and then third column so project name right perfect let's activate it let's activate it and I will put here debugger I will go for execute button I will pass a value for my employee ID and I will go for execute button right so I will go inside the method let's check whether it's working or not I will check my LT table it is returning me three records right it is returning me three records so perfect I will come out of it and we have a records in our LT project right three cross three now we will loop it and we will simply display our three records perfect we are getting our records we are getting our records also right so here if you want you can give here error message also if size sub rc is not equals to zero then you can give here error message so message employee data do not exist right type error activate it let's pass some wrong value here like this one and go for execute so there is some problem why this is a is not working okay let's check go for execute one 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 execute size of rc is zero but we are not getting any result here okay no problem we are not getting any result so we can simply change it to something else uh, we can make it let's say if lt project is initial that we can do if lt project is initial that we can do here right as a developer we must do the debugging to get all our required output so now if it will be empty we will get this error message so one 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 go for execute yeah see employee data do not exist and if it is correct if it is correct we will get the result perfect so we are getting our output so this is all about passing the parameters in the next part we will see the select option okay so thank you very much for watching the video we will continue our session from next part